The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. This episode of Sasquatch Mountain Man is presented by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. Born of the mountains, blood of the Indian. He lives by the way he hunts. He rekindles the fires of the past and roams in buckskin. He survives by hawking and longbow. He's forged by the elements. Journey with the last of a breed, Sasquatch, Mountain Man. Across America roams the mountain lion, the cougar, puma, catamount, panther. And most of his life, mountain man Laramie Miller has been chasing the big cats with hounds over the ridges, down the slopes, and into the trees. Anyone who thinks a dog man just ambles up to a cat and kills it needs to spend a day on the trail with Laramie, learning all that it takes to bring the top predator of the mountains to bay. It's a hunt that Laramie never loses his liking for. Trailing Cats. It also gives Laramie time to run his trap line that needs checking and tending every day to see if anything's been caught. Tell you what, this weather is absolutely horrible for trapping. You look, the snow is so iced over. It's been 65 degrees during the day and then drops down to 20 at night. And what it's doing is it's melting that snow and then it just turns to a sheet of ice at night. So when all the animals are running through at night, they're running right on top of that sheet of ice. I mean, it's almost impossible to try to catch something in these conditions. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig this out and reset it. They're calling for snow, so hopefully we get some snow. I'm gonna reset it with a little bit of snow on top and go from there. What I've got here is wax paper, and I put wax paper on the bottom and wax paper over the top, and that way, with all this melt and thaw, it'll help protect that trap a little bit from freezing up. See, this set is pretty much strictly for wolves. And what I've got, I've got my trap, and then right here is gonna be my lure. So hopefully that wolf comes running down this trail, stops to smell what's been here, steps in the trap. Trapping was the heart of the mountain man life, but he did have help. When it came to trapping, the Native Americans had thousands of years of head start on the mountain men. They learned the secret ways of the wolf and the beaver long before the white man ever set foot on these shores. At first, the fur buyers traded with the Indians for their pelts, hides being worth their weight in steel and glass and blankets. In time, the natives guided the mountain men into the Rockies, showing them the hidden El Dorados of fur bearers and helping them draw the maps for the settlers who would inevitably follow. With his trap set, Laramie can now leave them to do their work. Right now, it's time to gather up the hounds and set out on the trail. 
but it won't be easy, especially with this fluctuating weather. You know, spending as much time in the mountains as I usually do, and I find myself more often than not reflecting on my past mountain lion hunts, because those hunts, you never know what's gonna happen out there. There's no better smell tracker than a dog's nose. 40 times better than ours. It was pretty crazy. I got a lion track right here. It's probably four days old. And he can still smell it. He doesn't have a lot of scent, but there's still enough scent there to where he can smell it, and he's starting to pull pretty good. He wants to go, but the tough thing is if you look around, there's hardly any snow. And what that does when you don't have any snow on the hillsides, that track only, the scent in that track only lasts maybe 24 hours, maybe a little more. So it's pretty much gonna be a dry ground chase. And that can always be interesting. Conditions like this is where you find out how good your dogs really are. He's pulling pretty good. Never know. Get that cat, Sam. Sign up for the Bass Pro Shops Outdoor Channel, Mountain Man Sweepstakes. Log on to BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps and enter to win a $5,000 shopping spree. Fill up your possibles bag with all the essential hunting gear. Sign up, Bass Pro Shops Mountain Man Sweepstakes. That's BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. It's the time of year when trapping gets hard, with ice caking over everything. With his line reset, Laramie Miller has time to go out on the trail of the mountain lion. Conditions like this is where you find out how good your dogs really are. He's pulling pretty good. You never know. So he lost it as soon as it got to the dry ground. He's trying. There may be hundreds of lions in these mountains, but almost none of them will ever be seen. And when they hunt, they may range over as much as 300 square miles. And I hear the dog sounding off. That's a good sign. Trailing mountain lions leads to more dead ends than a mouse maze in a college lab. But all you can do is follow where the tracks take you. He's opening, so I'm just going to let him work it out. Get that cat, Sam. Get that cat, Sam. It's going to be hard, but I figure I'll let him try to work it out because he's got a heck of a lot better nose than I do. He's cold trailing real hard, so that tells me it's probably yesterday morning's track, but. You never know, I'm just gonna keep working down this ridge and try to go where I think that lion went and keep calling him over and hopefully I can freshen it up. This might be an all day ordeal. <laughs> hey, well, what else I gotta do? I'm in God's country. Tracking with the dog can lead to unimagined discoveries. Walking up to the dark mouth of a hidden cave, you gotta wonder what used to hide in here or what might be hiding in here still. There's no way to find out except by going in and hope there's nothing waiting in there. Looks like this cave is another dead end, but that don't make it any less of a mystery. That's pretty awesome. There's definitely been something in and out of there, but it's obviously not a lion. Maybe it's my old cousin, the Sasquatch. 
You could definitely make a home out of that. Whatever lives here is something Laramie will just have to leave on its own. Even with the trail frozen solid, it's hard for a hound not to pick up a scent if there's even a trace of it left. Well, Sam just blew up right around the corner up here. I can't really see, but everything is so frozen. I thought I saw a cat track, and I think he's headed in the right direction. He just smoked it. I mean, he took off. So that tells me it's fairly fresh. Now the work begins. Let's try to keep up with the dog. <laughs> well, I don't think the track is quite as fresh as I thought, but he's still going on it. He loses it every couple minutes, but. He's still going at a pretty good clip. Let's hope it might be two days old, but I've caught cats with a lot older tracks. Some folks want to tell you how easy it is to hunt lions with dogs, how unfair it is to a cat. But try keeping up with a hound and to get there when a lion is still up a tree. Well, Sam went clean up over the top chasing that cat. I'll get there sooner or later. It's gonna be a long hike. <laughs> Brought to you by the Ego Power Plus Lawnmower. Ego, power beyond belief. Brought to you by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. It's the time of year when a mountain man's traps need constant tending. At least there's time in between for lion hunting and exploring. And fresh snow brings fresh chances at finding a cat. Finally, we're getting some snow. Well, I think we got a kill right down here to turn the dogs loose. Sounds like they already got a cat tree a couple 300 yards up here, so. Hopefully, the cat had crossed this little trail down here and headed up this canyon. Headed up after it. The thing about dogs baying, it could be for a big cat or small, a young one or an old one. And no way of telling. The only thing a hunter can do is to keep climbing till he gets to the bay tree to see what's up it. Though climbing uphill may look the harder, going downhill can take even more of a toll on a houndsman's legs. <coughs> You know, it's pretty awesome. It's been a rough past few days on Kimber. But we got a little bit of snow last night. Look at the results. We got a cat in a tree. Looks like a younger female. She's in really good shape. But I think I'm going to pass on her. Let her go. Let her live. To see you another day. Awesome, though. The special thing about a lion hunt is that when you don't take the cat, you usually have the pleasure of watching it out on a limb to admire it at your leisure. Few other big game animals afford the same opportunity. Contrary to popular opinion, a lion up a tree ain't the most frantic creature. Mainly, the hounds and hunter are the excited ones. The one thing that makes me laugh, you always got these people, that's not how a cat looks in the tree, they're never relaxed. You look at that Tom, he don't have a care in the world, he's just waiting for us to let him go. <laughs> a time or two, a lion's even fallen asleep up a tree. They are magnificent animals though. We're gonna let this big boy live to see another day. If you 
you look right here, you can see it looks like a lion killed probably a deer. It's not big enough to be an elk. But you can see the lion's tracks right here and right here, and the big drag mark down the middle. It looks like it's probably last night sometime, but if it's a kill, that lion's got to be close. <laughs> Dude. That right there is a 500 pound elk calf. And that cat drug it like it was nothing. All there was was barely a little drag mark. Look where he was bedded. He was bedded right there, 10 yards from his kill. Right underneath, he had him a nice little shelter. He's probably drinking some coffee. Maybe he had a cigar. He was hanging out until we showed up. <laughs> wow. This is gonna be a big cat. Big cat with a big appetite. A male lion can kill 30 to 40 deer a year. Got a tigger in a tree, you can hear it. It's the sound of music in the morning. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. When he's not checking traps, Laramie Miller's trailing lions with his hounds and discovering mysteries on the mountainside. All to hear the tree bark of his excited dogs. There truly is nothing like coffee in the mountains. A new day and new snow. A houndsman will go 10 days straight without hearing a dog open up, all for one day like this. A day when it's only a matter of time before the dogs start baying and the signal is given for the race to begin. Got a tigger in a tree, you can hear it. That's the sound of music in the morning. That's better than vultures. The snow makes the hunt possible and hard at the same time. Now, hunter and hounds are likely to get a crick in the neck staring up into the tree, judging whether the lion is mature and big enough to be worth taking. That's not your typical house cat. <laughs> It's snowing, we're in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. We've got a big tom in a tree. Don't get no better than that. Laramie's decided that this is the cat worth taking. And it's not just about the hide, though he'll put that to use but about some of the finest big game meat that lives on the mountain.
What I got here is I got some black pepper, some salt, some wild sage, and some lion backstrap. I'm just gonna sprinkle this backstrap with some sage in that pepper and rub it in a little bit. It smells good enough to eat. Mm. That right there is a meal fit for a king. Honest to goodness, it might be one of the best meals I've ever cooked. <laughs> and all it is is mountain lion backstrap. You know, one of the best feelings ever is when you put so much hard work in and it pays off. To have a beautiful animal like this mountain lion and then to cook it up and eat it and it gave its life for me to sustain myself and my family and to top it all off, it tastes like heaven. There ain't nothing better there. Ain't nothing better, no matter where the eye falls.